Hey everyone, it's been quite a while since I posted a video review again uh, and I'm so excited to see all of you um, as I've been too busy with my work and uh, I'm so glad to bring another video for you today and it's more of a productivity too and today's video review is on a power mirror so a power mirror allows you to cast your phone to your desktop or cast your desktop to your phone uh, and you can also cast your desktop to your tv or whatever right so you can cast devices to on onto another display so it's quite a nice tool and uh, before i jump in be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content here we are in a power mirror so this is the um application right here okay so what happens is um once i open up my phone you can see this is mirroring everything that my phone looks like um, so that's you know very nice um, I just haven't have not um, actually uh, tried all the features yet so I could full screen so that's very nice I can take a screenshot of my phone right here I could record my phone screen right here so that's very nice um, so let's see how okay so once I start clicking then you know that's it, it starts recording right so, so I guess that's how it works okay so we've got a whiteboard feature so I guess I can draw on this okay um, undo and clear so you know it's it looks quite simple because I can only choose between some colors and I guess that's about it right and I can control from PC so let's see how it works control from PC oops nope how do I work how do I get this working then control from PC okay open folder okay so I guess this is the recording that was done earlier okay and this is flipping the screen okay let's, so let's exit okay so um, control from PC right enable now okay so let's see how it works I gotta connect again to the application so how do you um, mirror your phone so there's there's a way right so you can mirror your phone to your pc and you can mirror your pc to your phone so there's two options right here oops so i i just tap on the wrong stuff so i just mirrored um, my pc to my phone so that's not what i want okay so i want to mirror my phone to my pc that's not correct so let me just disconnect it for now okay start now okay there we go so I guess it didn't connect properly earlier okay so let's so there's a control from PC that we actually okay so how does this work it disconnected me probably I might have to um, set that up on the phone settings control yep control desktop notifications phone control mode mouse okay um let's try this again 
mirror to phone start now okay let's try again okay so I can mirror my audio as well the first time you control Android on PC after rebooting please connect via USB to control from PC so I need to connect via USB to control from PC okay so I got to actually um, connect to via a, a USB cable so um, I'm not going to test that so but once you've done that um, you c you can actually control your phone by clicking on the a power mirror screen right here so we've got a whiteboard light mode okay so um, it makes everything cleaner I guess so now how do I get back Okay, so <laughs> that's a problem. Let me see. So show main window. Maybe I can hit on escape. All right, so we are getting into some issues right here. Let's try disconnecting. Okay, so I guess I got to disconnect for that to so once you get into the light mode, um, okay. So Control S, so press Escape. Nope, it didn't work. Okay. Right. So I guess once you get into light mode, there's no way to get back. Okay, and then you can change some of your settings right here. You can change the color, the uh. The resolution and all that so you know you get a very good phone screen recording by using this okay PC, PC mirroring and whether you want to keep the sound of the PC and the receiver Okay, the shortcuts capturing settings so you can screenshot in PNG file JPEG uh, if you want to save the screenshot to you as a file or you want to save it to clipboard so you can paste it somewhere um, so this would be great if you want to capture like your phone screen as uh, you know screenshots right and then the video quality and so on all right so next um, live support so I guess you can contact support from there okay so let's take a look so you have live chat right there and I guess that's all the features uh, pretty much in a power mirror okay so maybe you can take a look at some of the mobile apps sorry the uh, mobile app itself and what kind of feature all right so I can actually use it as a whiteboard you can draw stuff right here so I can have it in pencil mode I can have it a uh, highlighter mode right different colors to choose from and what's this oh I can change the thickness okay right so what else do we have um files so not really sure what this is browser mirroring so let's check that out okay the live chat doesn't seem to be look loading okay let me just close that okay so Right, so a lot of weird <laughs> trending searches right now. So how does okay? So this actually opens up the browser, and you can then sort of uh, mirror your browser from here. Okay, and 
so let's see like whatsapp document so this is this is just assessing your files pretty much videos yep so there isn't much uh right there and they have a air cast feature right so i want to check that out so let me see okay so air cast no okay so air cast air cast is actually um i guess for you got to buy credits for that yeah so um and otherwise they do have a uh, discord server that you can join and connect with them so you got feedback about settings right here so you can you know change the mirroring resolution so it gets clearer so let's let's try and see if if there's any difference okay so this is 1080p and let's try like 480p okay so i think you know some of the words are a lot harder to read probably okay mirroring definition okay game graphics so i guess if you want to record your screen through your phone this will be nice Right, so you can change the the graphic level, the FPS, and then if you want to cast the audio of your phone over, um, enable power, a power mirror keyboard. Accessibility features, phone control mode, and uh, I guess pretty much that's all there is to a power mirror. Okay, I think um, I have used uh, a different, what do you call it, a uh, different phone mirroring um, app as well called AirDroid, uh, which does work as well. But I would say that it seems like it's a lot more seamless and easier with uh, a power mirror. Okay, but with AirDroid, I think that they have a browser mode. And then you can sort of connect via the browser and share your phone screen. It uh, whereas for a power mirror, it seems like more like a local um, application. You got to connect via the same Wi-Fi, right? So, uh, but of course, a power mirror to me does have a much better. Uh, interface itself so i guess that's all i have to share about a power mirror um if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think about this phone mirroring app and uh, if you uh if you know if you know anyone who could benefit from this phone mirroring app be sure to share this video with them i'll see you in my next video bye bye